All right, welcome everyone to Open TTD, Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe, an open source version of the old game Transport Tycoon, which is one of the predecessors of Roller Coaster Tycoon. So, if you don't know Transport Tycoon, I'm sure you've heard of the other one. This is an open source game. It's a free game. It's free to play. You can download it from their website. And we are going to play with some mods, or rather, new GRFs, as they are called, in this community. So. If you want to uh, go on and don't want to look at my settings, uh, please uh, go forward in the video and else I will show you my settings real quickly and you can pass them uh, to copy them if you want to play a similar game. We are going to play on the Game of Thrones map, A Song of Ice and Fire. One AI which just built some, some random cars so that our cities are not completely empty. And we use these settings over here, which I'm going to go through very quickly, and you can pause it if you want to know more. So, uh, the way I play, I, I really focus more on passengers rather than industry, although I do some industry sometimes. And, um, and I also try to make everything look pretty rather than efficient. I like I like pretty things. I like eye candy, and there's a lot of eye candy in the in the new GRFs I, I chose. We're also going to start earlier, in around 1800. We don't have trains yet, at least with the with the new GRFs I am using. So we will have to do with some uh, trams, road uh, road vehicles, uh, mainly carriages, horse and wagons. And ships. And that's all we have. So let's uh, take a look at the world. World has been generated. This is the the Game of Thrones map. You will see Westeros over here with uh, the wall over here. Well, you don't see the wall, I think. And then we have the the what do you call it, the lands of the of the Dothraki with uh, Slavers Bay. Uh, I don't I don't know exactly the names. Uh, I. The, the towns are randomly generated. They don't represent anything from Game of Thrones. I use Dutch names since I am Dutch. And uh, we're going to take a look at, at Westeros. Let's let's start in Westeros somewhere. I know some of the map of, of Game of Thrones uh, since I've played some um, a game called At War, where you had a Game of Thrones map. And uh, so I know that King's Landing should be, what is it again? I think around here. Uh, we have some real cities here as well. Not too big, more like small towns. And we have some cities over here. And this is really in the center. I think it's called the Twins in, in the real Game of Thrones map. I'm not sure though. And this looks like a big city. Waardir. I, I haven't heard of it. I'm Dutch, but I haven't heard of this town. Um, so this seems like a good place to start. It's really central in Westeros. So uh, the game is paused, but let's start by putting down some of our headquarters here. And uh, actually, first let's let's since I like pretty things, I like to uh, make a face for myself. And uh, I think I'm not going to spend too much time. This actually looks pretty okay. Let's take this one. And uh, the color scheme is going to be not pink. Let's make it orange for everything. I like. Orange. Oh, how do I how do I do this quickly again? I forgot. There was a way to do this quickly, right? Was it like this? No. Okay, well, I'm just going to do this and uh, and skip ahead in the editing. All right, I've made everything orange, so now we are ready to change our name. Let's make it uh, something Game of Thronesy. I don't know, uh, Laris um, Haltheon. That's our name. And the company name will be um, Lord of Light Transport. As if we are transporting light. Not really. Let's build our headquarters near uh, Waarder. And I'm going to leave some space around it. So we can have a nice uh, park or something. So let's place it here. Some roads around it. And actually a road towards it as well. And uh, we don't have a lot of eye candy yet, that will also be unlocked later on. But let's see what we have at the moment. We have 
some um, city decorations. Yeah, those are not unlocked yet, but they look really nice, uh, I believe. Uh, these Dutch uh, motorways are actually very awesome. They work really well, but yeah, we don't have any motorways until uh, late in, into the 20th uh, century, I think. We have a lot of beach uh, models here as well. Ah, and this is something I can do already. So let's make a nice uh, garden around it. I'm not going to fill it completely, but um, let's make a, a nice garden next to it with flowers and uh, something like that. I like some, yeah, these are pretty colorful. Come on, colors, I want color. All right. Some flowers and uh, a path around it, like this. Then we use these paths. I don't know, can you actually walk walk on those? Oh yeah, it doesn't do anything anyway, it's just eye candy. But uh, this, uh, yeah, this looks sort of nice, I think. And then uh, benches. All right. Those are our headquarters. Now let's start with the transportation. We're going to start with uh, passengers. And I, I'm always doubting between using trams and and road vehicles. But yeah, trams are what comes closest to, to railways. We don't have any railways yet, as you can see. So uh, let's start with some, some trams and we're going to... Um, oh yeah, this is the AI. Just to show you what the AI does in this game. They just build some some vehicles. Some vehicles at the moment it's just uh, someone on a horse, and they just just ride around randomly throughout the town, from their depot. I don't know where the depot is. Uh, but yeah, th they just spawn random vehicles so that the towns are not completely empty. All right, let's go back to Westeros. Where are we? We have started in oh. Uh, where am I? I haven't built anything yet, so I can't see anything on the map. Here, right there. Alright, let's start with the tramway. And we're going to go first from Waarder to... Oops. Oh, actually, this is a pretty big town. But we're in 1800 trams. Every, every, every vehicle actually is really slow. So we can't go too far yet. Let's go to Spear. We're going to build a, a tram depot, and it makes sense to put that around our headquarters as well, maybe. Um, well, something like this. Uh, yes, and then some trams. And uh, I, th I don't think I'm going to go on the road, but actually next to the road. So we can alleviate some of the traffic there. And it would be nice if we can do that everywhere. Can we do it here? Oh yes, we can. Can actually go through here so then the later on there's some room for road vehicles in the town and the trams and the road vehicles don't overlap everywhere let's make some some uh, stations tram stations right here in the center and then maybe somewhere over here as well yes and then let's do that in spear as well it's quite elongated so we can do two tram stations as well over here and before the town gets angry because for some reason the town council gets really angry if you even if you just play stations let's play some freight stations as well and I like to do that in a separate location so let's do that here although it is connected to that one let's do that over here and that will mainly be mail so we're going to transport mail there Let's do one somewhere over here in Waarder and somewhere over here. Uh, what's a good spot? Maybe just, yeah, uh, maybe over here, Waarder, central. I'm going to change the names later as well. Okay, now we go, go from our depot. Oh, actually, we need to go to our headquarters as well, but not yet. I think the headquarters generate some. So passenger traffic as well, but only later on in the game. So let's connect these stations. Trim goes like this. Freight can go over here. A freight can then turn around, maybe. Let's make a loop. So then this way, and then let's connect back here. 
and then we need to go to this other town, Spear. Let's go this way, and then over here. The freight can make a loop to turn back like this, and then it goes to this central location. Oh, and we need to do the freight over here as well. Yeah, let's just go on the on the roads here, and it can make a loop like this. Then these trams can go over here to get back on the main tram rail. Right, so we've got a nice tram rail over here. Then let's start building trams. We have the choice of a one horse or a two horse passenger tram. And the two horse passenger tram is better at everything, it's just more expensive. But we will need it because 15 passengers, oh, actually both are 15 passengers. But yeah, this one is just faster. It's a whopping 20 kilometers per hour. I think I can bike faster than that. So it starts at the depot. It will go to Vardir, then to Central, then all the way to... Well, actually, it, it might stop at, at the depot for some um, service. Then it will go to this town, and then back to the depot. It only stops at the depot for service, if it needs service, and else it will go non-stop to all the stations. So this is our first vehicle, and uh, let's uh, put it inside a group. And the group is, uh, Va what's it called, Waarder Spear, like this, oops, not a, def not a new group, let's delete this one, and then let's give this one a name as well, maybe, uh, yeah, the same as the group, Waarder Spear, number one, alright. We need uh, quite a few of these, I think. Let's go! I, I I honestly have tried to use timetables at some point, but um, I don't know, I, I really find it a lot of trouble for not so much benefit. What I rather do instead of timetables is I let some of the vehicles skip a few stations. That seems like it's way easier to do. And it has a similar effect. Some vehicles will go to uh, the other town first, others will go to this one, and then uh, it can also, uh, for example, stop one vehicle for a time so that they don't yeah, glue to each other. But really, with uh, if you start early in, in the 1800s, it's not really necessary because the vehicles are so slow and they have such a low capacity anyway. That it doesn't matter if, if 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 you have like three or even five or six trams right behind each other, because they will take all the passengers anyway. There will be later on there will be like thousands of people waiting here, and each tram can only carry I don't know 15, so it doesn't really matter. So this town is really small. I don't think I'm going to connect that one yet, but this one is a bit farther away. No, no difference is not that big. Right, let's connect this one. And uh, I should not forget to do some mail traffic as well. I will do that after I connect to this town. So this town, Kijks End, will be connected with two stations as well. One over here and one over here. And then freight, it will have one over here. Kijks End, no actually not there, here. Kijks and, and a freight station over here. Um, yes. Kijks and central. Alright, let's connect it. Let's connect it from, from our main line over here. Um, yeah, we could do it like this. But then it might get really crowded over there. But yeah, all the trams will need the service anyway. They will need to be serviced and repaired if they break. Oh, now I'm going through this town anyway. Might as well connect it. Alright, let's go through the town of Schipperskerk. I apologize for any non-Dutch speakers listening to this stream, or rather, um, YouTube video. Because I 
really the Dutch language is full of throaty sounds and I, I refuse to pronounce them in, in, in an English way that, 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 that even makes less sense. I mean, the names of the towns are Dutch, so I will pronounce them in Dutch because I know Dutch. If I was a native English speaker, I would pronounce them in the way that made most sense to me, which would be something like, I don't know, Schipperskirk. But I will pronounce them in the Dutch way, so you will hear a lot of, of Dutch sounds. And I apologize because it sounds horrible, at least in my opinion. Some people like it. Some I know some foreigners who like to learn Dutch, and I don't really understand why, because it sounds, yeah, the, yeah. That is just so much of the g sound, the throaty sound. But even so, it, uh, it, it, is, it is an interesting language to learn, so I, I can understand you would want to learn it uh, if you're interested in, 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 in the Dutch country or in the Dutch culture for whatever reason. And it's also very interesting to see the similarities to um, to other Germanic languages like uh, German, English, uh, Scandinavian languages. How do I connect this? Let's let's make a loop like this. It doesn't need to go through this one anyway. Now this passenger uh, tram would need to make a loop as well, or I can connect it like this. Yeah, let's connect it like that, and then we can make a road as well um, to help the town grow. I do have uh, some settings that make the towns less, mm, what do you call it, less inclined to go. Actually, you can see some of it over here. This town's growth is influenced by cargo performance delivery. But you do not deliver anything. Undelivered cargo, passengers, mill food and goods. So it cannot grow higher than zero inhabitants. It doesn't mean it will go down towards zero, but it cannot grow... Uh, it, it, it doesn't grow if it's larger than zero. That's the way it works. So I need to deliver cargo, mainly passengers and 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 mail at first, and later on you can uh, unlock different cargo. So our tram lines, uh, yeah, making some profit. That's nice. It's really hard to make profit early on with just passengers. So I might have to take a look at at some um, fishing grounds. But I will do that later on. Let's let's just first have at least these two lines up and running. I will make one for, uh, what do you call it? What was it called? Kuik's Eind, that goes through Schipperskerk. And we'll make it a two horse passenger tram as well, of course. Right, this tram will go from this, the, the depot to Waarder, then this station, and it will go back, it will go to the depot again if it needs any service. Through this little town over here. Uh, Alright. Through Schipperskerk over here. Then through Kijkseind. Kijkseind Central. And then back. Maybe actually back through Kijkseind if I put uh, another um, station right over here. Let's go, go back through it. So it will service that station twice back through Schipperskerk and back to the depot which is already in here only if it needs any service right so this is our second line let's put it in a second group and we call it what's the name Waarder oh, I'm doing something I don't know what Waarder uh, Kuik's Eind and the name of the vehicle is the same as the group name Later on, I might use line numbers, but as a because it's more similar to reality, where um, oops, I did something wrong. It's more similar in reality, where where you don't call a bus like the bus from here to there, but they have a line number. So I might do that later, but yeah, really for such small towns, it doesn't make sense to have more than one line, although it really does at the moment. So we're already going to two towns at the moment. That's quite some good news. Let's make about 10 of these as well. And go. Some of them will skip the first station so that they are not all right behind each other. And then this one will do something like that. 
All right. I'm going to quickly pause here and see if my ed video editing is still okay. So I am back and yes, my video editing or my, actually my recording was going okay, but then I forgot to start the recording again. And I've played a bit, a few minutes while the record failed. So let me show you what I did. I, um, I think before the, the stop, I, I, I made two lines, one to speed, one to kijks and for passengers. And all I did was do the same, but for mail. So now we also have a, a mail line going. Let me show you in the group. From Waarde to Spier, for example, this one goes from here to here. And another group from Waarde to Kijks Eind that also carries mail. So the mail freight station is somewhere over here and over here. And um, yeah, so that's all I did. Then um, I also checked if I was making money. And I'm probably not making money because with such a small passenger network, yeah, it's, it's not really profitable especially with these slow moving vehicles. So we are making 2,000, uh, 12,000 with our road vehicle income. Uh, we sp this was a one-time sp spendation, uh, buying new vehicles, so that doesn't count. But the running costs are 2,000, the, the property maintenance 5,000, and then our loan interest is another 2,000 and a bit. So actually, it does look like we are making a bit of money then, if we sub subtract these one-time costs from our total uh, profit, then yes, we are making some money, but uh, I also want to focus on making pretty things. I want to make a nice postal office right at the, the postal cargo stations. That's, that's, that does seem nice. At some point, I want to extend the, the park around my headquarters or make a, a parking even around the headquarters, although I can't do that yet. And uh, and maybe, maybe, let me show you a quick preview of what I want to do at some point. I want to build a town wall around my first city. And that is going to be to be really nice, but it, it, it costs some money. Let me show you how much it costs. One piece costs only 30. Yeah, it's not too much, but we do need to make a profit to do that. So that's what we're going to focus on next time. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you uh, enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.